everyone, this is Yakatna here. In this video, we are going to prove the statement using principle of mathematical induction. So, let's get started. Problem. Using the principle of mathematical induction, prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 equals to n square for all n belongs to capital N. That is, n belongs to natural numbers. So here we are given sum of n terms in the LHS which is equal to n square in the RHS. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. So on n terms you are having T1, T2, T3, T4. So on Tn. Tn. Here Tn is a n term. Let's represent n term by Tn. Okay. If you put n equals to 1. 1s are 2, minus 1 equals to 1. You'll get the first term. Okay? Likewise, if you put n equals to 2, which is your second term. Okay? If you put n equals to 3, you'll get third term. If you put n equals to 3 in the nth term, you'll get the third term. Likewise, if you put n equals to 4, you'll get the fourth term. See? Two fours are eight minus one equals to seven, which is your fourth term. Okay, fine. Now coming to principle of mathematical induction. In this, we'll firstly prove that the statement is true for n equals to one, and if you want, you can prove for n equals to two, and we'll assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. And finally, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, fine. When n equals to 1 from LHS, you'll take only the first term. Okay. Likewise, when n equals to 2, you'll take the first two terms. Sum of first two terms from LHS. Sum of first two terms. Okay. Likewise, when n equals to 3, you'll take... The sum of first three terms from LHS, 1 plus 3 plus 5, okay? Likewise, for n equals to 4, the sum of first four terms. Likewise, for n equals to k, you'll take the sum of first k terms, okay? Fine. When n equals to 1, solution, let P of n be the given statement. P of n be the given statement. Then P of n such that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 equals to n square. Now the procedure begins. When? n equals to 1. As I said earlier, when n equals to 1, we'll take only the first term from LHS. Okay? LHS 1. RHS. Coming to RHS. Put 1 in RHS. That is 1 square equals to 1. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this, we can say that the statement is true. That is, Pn, P of n is true for n equals to 1. That is, therefore, P of 1 is true. Okay. Likewise, when n equals to 2 from LHS, we'll take Sum of first two terms. Sum of first two terms is 1 plus 3. That is first term plus second term. Equals to 1 plus 3, 4. Coming to RHS. This is your RHS, right? Put n equals to 2. Then you will get 2 square equals to 4. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that P of n is true if 
you can say that therefore p of n is true for n equals to 2 that is therefore p of 2 is true okay let's check for n equals to 3 when n equals to 3 we'll take sum of first three terms in the LHS 1 plus 3 plus 5 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 now coming to RHS put n equals to 3 then you'll get 3 square is 9 so here also LHS equals to RHS Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 3. Therefore, P of 3 is true. Okay, fine. If you want to check for 5, take the first 5 terms from our ledgers for sum of here you have given sum, right? So, we'll take first five terms. That is sum of first five terms. And we're coming to, while coming to RHS, you we'll simply put n equals to 5. Okay? Now, assume that P of n is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. Okay, then p of n, not p of n, p of k such that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus k terms simply replace n by k then you'll get sum of k terms equals to k square. Okay. We have assumed that this is true. Okay. Since this is true, so using this, we can now show that p of k plus 1 is true. Okay. Now consider the sum of k plus 1 terms k plus 1 terms p of k plus 1 equals to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus kth term 2k minus 1 plus k plus 1th term okay by simply replacing n by k, you'll get kth term. And by replacing n by k plus 1, you'll get k plus 1th term. Okay, fine. Now this equals to, we already have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus 2k minus 1 equals to k squared. So replace the sum of k terms by k square. Okay? Plus the last term. 2 into k, 2k. Plus 2 ones are 2 minus 1. So this equals to k square plus 2k plus 2 minus 1 is plus 1. Okay? So you can write this as k square 
plus 2 into k into 1 plus this 1 as 1 square which is of a square plus 2ab plus b square form right that is a plus b whole square form right so for n equals to k plus 1 the sum of n terms equals to n square for n equals to k plus 1 right this shows that P of k plus 1 is true. Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus so on plus kth term plus 2 k plus 1 that is for 2n minus 1 for n equals to k plus 1 equals to n square for n equals to k plus 1. See? n square, 2n minus 1, first term, second term, third term, and so on. k plus 1 term equals to n square for n equals to k plus 1. So, this shows that the given statement is true for n equals to K plus 1. Okay. Therefore, P of N is true. For N equals to K plus 1. Therefore, P of K plus 1 is true. Whenever P of K is true. Okay. Thus, P of 1 is true. And P of K plus 1 is true. Whenever P of K is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, The given statement is true for all natural numbers or n belongs to natural numbers. Okay, this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from principle of mathematical induction in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.